Hi guys, um, so this morning during class we went over the goodie bags that Miss Maria and I dropped off to your houses. Um, so for those of you who couldn't make class, I'm going to do an unboxing of the unbagging of the goodie bag now so you guys can see all of the cool items in your bag and for all the different activities you, you can look forward to this summer. So let's get started with the activity we're going to do on Tuesday, which is our paint and juice, which means we're going to be painting, drinking some juice, relaxing, and creating a beautiful piece of art. So for that activity in your bag, you guys have some canvas. These are these different small little canvas to paint on. You guys have paint, little paint sets, and then you guys should have two to three paint brushes. So tomorrow we will be using these three items to create a piece of artwork and that will be at 10.30 tomorrow. You guys have two of these because we're going to do this activity twice. So I cannot wait to see what art you guys come up with. The next activity that we have, I'm going to follow along with the PowerPoint I posted. So this one I am so excited for. We are going to be making homemade ice cream but it's not just making ice cream, it's also science. So you guys, to make this ice cream, you guys have a water bottle, and inside the water bottle, you have these little coffee creamers, French vanilla. You also need, and I didn't pack this, but at home, you're gonna need salt and ice. So when we do this cooking science experiment, we're gonna be putting the salt and the ice in here. We're gonna be shaking it up, and you guys are gonna watch some magic while these coffee creamers turn into ice cream gonna be really fun. The next item in your bag, we are going to be doing some more art and we're gonna be making some cutouts. They're called Matisse inspired cutouts and what you need is the construction paper and you will also need your, let me find it here, you will need scissors and glue and you'll also need a pencil so I'm hoping you guys have a pencil, a marker, or a pen at home. So on Wednesday, you guys will need the construction paper, the scissors, and the glue. I can't wait to see what art you guys come up with. Um, all right, so this is the really big one. This is the weird looking pizza box that I delivered. No, there is not a pizza in here, unfortunately, but it's something really cool inside is all of the supplies you need to make these solar powered s'mores. So you have the pizza box, Inside, you have the two kind of like chopsticks or skewers. Um, these are gonna be going like this on the pizza box. And inside, you guys have a sheet protector. You have aluminum foil. And the best part, you guys have graham crackers, marshmallows, and chocolate. And also in this activity, you'll need the tape, glue, and scissors. So you're gonna need all of this stuff to make our solar powered s'mores and that's on Friday. That's the activity that Cameron is really excited to do. I'm excited to do it too. So this is the pizza box. Shout out to our work site, La Nostra, who donated and gave me the pizza boxes. Mr. Joe says hello to all of you guys. So that is the pizza box. Try and keep this safe so none of the food gets crushed. Okay, the next activity is the dirt pudding cups. So get ready for some class Y32 cooking. We are going to be following step-by-step -step directions, practicing measurements, and making these really cool pudding cups. Um, some of you have vanilla, some of you have chocolate. Sorry if I, you didn't get the flavor you like, but I promise you they're all really, really delicious. Um, in addition to the, the pre-made box, you will also need three cups of milk and some plastic cups and measuring, and you'll also need a whisk or an electric mixer. So this is something you can do, your family's probably gonna help you out with those supplies. But I'm excited to see you guys cook these. Jose and Michael said they're really excited for this activity. The next activity we have Ooh, this one is kind of fun. This is an engineering science one activity. And this is, let me find it. 
There's so much stuff in these bags. Okay, this is the activity where we're gonna be engineers and architects, and we're gonna be making some marshmallow toothpick structures. So all you need for this activity are the toothpicks and the mini marshmallows. Um, be careful, some of the toothpicks are poking out of the bags. Just be careful when you pick this one up. The next activity we're going to be doing, ooh, this is a lot of stuff. This is the baking soda balloons. And for this activity, you'll need the vinegar. You will need baking soda. You're gonna need the water bottle that you use to make the ice cream, but the ice cream only needed salt and ice, so I promise you it's gonna be clean. Rinse it out and you're gonna be good to go to use this. You're also going to need some balloons right here. And that is it. From home, you're going to need measuring spoons. We're gonna be measuring out the baking soda, we're gonna be measuring out the vinegar, and putting it into this bottle and blowing up these balloons. I'm really excited for you guys to do this science experiment. Um, the next activity we're going to do is, oh, this one is gonna be really fun, and this is something your parents are most likely gonna help you with. You find it in my bag. This activity is writing and sending a card. So in a Ziploc bag, you have a card and you have an envelope. And we are going to be filling out the card and sending it to a friend, a teacher, a family member. So you guys are going to be making the card, putting it in, addressing it, and then going to the mailbox and sending some mail. Um, I love getting mail and it really makes my day. So hopefully you guys can put a smile on someone's face when they get a piece of mail from you. And yes, this one we're doing in August. The next and last item in your bag are these fun necklaces. So you should have one or two of these in your bag. These are for the last day of school when we do a luau activity and have an end of the summer party. So these are not really for an activity, but more for dancing and having fun as we celebrate the end of summer. So we're gonna use these on August 13th. That are, that's all the items in the bag. Um, I know we have so many days left of summer school and those were only seven or so activities, but um, as we go along at the end of August, we're gonna be adding in different activities with the items you have left in the bag. So it's gonna be fun because we're gonna get um, super creative. So I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of the goodie bag. Um, stay tuned for other videos of me completing the activity so you guys can follow along at home. I know most of you can't make the classes every day, but I hope you can come at least for a little bit. Um, hold on one second, I'm getting a call. Okay. Um, well, I missed that call. That's okay. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow, Tuesday for our first painting activity. Um, thanks for joining me and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.